Another Goodwill by the Pound video where I'm gonna show you uh, what I got at the Goodwill by the Pound. Uh, it's a very eclectic mix today. By the way, if you hear a chainsaw, um, yeah, random toys that I really felt had some potential for modification. First off, this lovely Bowser toy. This is from a Hot Wheels set. It's very simple. Uh, I figure if I just hot glue the arms to the side and then do some uh, a, a base with some... Um, I'll probably use just Sculpt-A-Mold. And then give it a, a just a, a complete spray paint uh, base coat. It's all. It's mostly... Uh, there's a little bit of soft plastic in here, but it's mostly hard plastic. I think this would look really good just as a piece of terrain as, uh, you know, just some sort of statue. Uh, some other really good miniatures. Not miniatures, but toys. But, uh, frankly, very nice toys. This is the first one I saw. Look at the detail. Now, this is obviously some sort of, like, action figure. This is a 2019 toy, Lennard. So, it does have posable feet for some reason, which is kind of dumb because, like, you, you can barely pose the feet, so I don't see what the point of that is. But, um, you can kind of, yeah. So, obviously, there's really only one configuration where uh, this lovely boar stands. Obviously, a massive boar. But, I figure uh, it would look really nice. Some of the neat details that you generally don't get with, like, uh, you, you generally don't get, like, ear details, little tufts here. He's got the little chin... Uh, things here that boars have. Uh, so yeah, lots of really good details on this, which I think will actually make a very nice, like, huge miniature. I I don't think I'll even base this. I think, because I don't have that many, like, just colossal bases, but just, uh, I think I'll just have this and repaint it for D&D. Even more exciting, the elephant. Uh, a similar thing, I believe might be from the same company i'm not sure though different audio because the landscaping company is padding their work day by going over the same bit of lawn over and over again this is the same toy company that has created this lovely elephant obviously way big for D, &D but very nicely sculpted and i feel as though i could easily build like a big platform on top of it so this would be like the uh, Return of the King Oliphants with the massive, like, fortified structure on the back where there's archers and stuff like that. Uh, and again, uh, pretty nice details with this. Obviously, a little bit of green stuff, uh, a little bit of sculpting to hide the seams. And this toy will look really nice as a battle elephant thing. I swear to God, they're just running up the clock, baby. That's all they're doing. Uh, I got a bunch of Mega Bloks bases. Uh, sometimes these are worth money, like especially if they're from like the Halo thing or something. I found some of these before that I was able to sell and get a good price for. So Mega Block stuff generally, it, it's not that much. Uh, it's not worth any money, but sometimes the bases are worth money. I got like a little bit of uh, got a little bit of uh, just uh, plank texture there. I got this lovely piranha from uh, the uh, Animal Planet thing. Once again, I thought this would like a really cool. <laughs> it's got a little bit of action there, but I think this would actually make a really cool, like metal piranha, like not a robot or anything, but just a, just a sculpture, like maybe some sort of like uh, oh icon for an undersea adventure or something like that. So just you know. Just coat that in some uh, paint and let it go. We got uh, a very nice manta ray. I like that. Uh, also, aquatic creature, a little cuttlefish, I think. Very nice. Uh, oh, this frog's a little bit flimsy, but the paint job on it. See, I like the hard plastic stuff because that it's, it's much easier to repaint them. But this looks nice enough with the blue paint job on there. And yet another... Yep, it's another Schleich. Uh, Schleich. Schleich. 
Uh, it's another Schlake uh, alligator crocodile. I love these things. The details are look so good. Yeah. So this this is this is just ready for a swamp encounter. I have so many of these. I gotta count how many I have one of these days. Uh, Southworth parchment deed executive paper for personal correspondence. This is some uh, relatively old school parchment stuff with envelopes. This. It, it, these are like the goodwill by the pound finds that I really like because this is just fun. A lot of these are uh, discolored, but uh, most of the envelopes are fine. Uh, but yeah, this is very old parchment paper, fancy stuff, and this is just excellent for player handouts. This would be like this is how they would get the notes in game. I love little stuff like this when when it looks nice because notes in games if they're not like fancy, you know. Uh, another cheap model train thing. This was so good with texture before that I definitely wanted to rip apart another one of these things and use it for texture for another project. Uh, that's a nice gate thing. This is actually, like, weirdly, like, there's, like, steel <laughs> screws uh, putting this in place. So, yeah. I got some vis-a-vis. vis, -a -vis. vis, -a -vis. vis -a -vis? However you pronounce it. These are the Sanford... Uh, water based overhead protector. These are actually really good for this mat. This is one of the brands that I know you can use on the Chesek mat and other brands where they're not going to uh, stain it unless you leave it overnight. Uh, these clean up very nicely, but again, I think black is the only one you can leave on the mat for a long time and not worry about staining. Though, honestly, I would just clean off the mat every night once you're done, because leaving them the uh, leaving that on the mat is just not a good idea at all. Nice little bit of uh, random scenery here. I like that. Uh, some little bits and pieces that had texture on it that I might use for a future project. We got yet another Godzilla guy, or maybe it's not Godzilla. I don't know. I, f I found like a bunch of these guys. It's weird how you find random bits of stuff uh speaking of random bits of stuff this really weird looking like bone organic looking thing i don't know what the heck this is but it looks very cool it obviously like clipped onto something but this would definitely make a lovely piece of uh basing terrain we got some mechanical grabber things here some more excellent texture we got a golden horse, which I, I thought was looked cool, but like now, realize the gold's coming off it, and it's very much uh, tacky feeling, so that's not a good sign. That's probably not going to be very useful. Speaking of not very useful, a can of spam. A miniature can of spam. I, I, I don't know. Perhaps something of value in the future. And finally, uh, some Harry Potter board game terrain stuff, which I thought might be kind of cool. Uh, I think these are obviously not one inch squares, but now does this fold out? It does. Alright, so that's not bad. Look at that. That's some lovely uh, bric-a-brac terrain there. I like the looks of that. It looks uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty bricky brac. This could actually be terrain for the woe be gone dragon thing, and the other side is just some magical shops, which is probably are not going to be that useful in my games. And finally, video games and CDs. I got Star Wars 3 Lego Edition for the uh, Xbox 360. Uh, Star Wars Rebels. Uh, Simpsons movie on Blu-ray. Oh, we got Sins of a Solar Empire. That's kind of cool. Interesting find there. Scoob, a movie that I never watched. Uh, the original Halloween... No, no, I'm sorry. The Rob Zombie Halloween 2, which... I heard a little bit about the Peanuts movie, the new order one, which I never watched. Uh, we just got some empty video game cases. 
And then finally, the interesting thing, The Outer Limits Season 1. If this is streaming anywhere, I don't know where it would be. But uh, I watched a little bit of this when I was uh, much younger. And I always thought this was just super interesting. So, The Outer Limits, this is the remake of the old... Um, of the very old 1960s series. So this is like the modern remake, which I don't even know when it was from. Probably like early 2000s, I want to say. Or maybe the 90s. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, this uh, this had some very interesting concepts and stuff. And I bought it, and I'm glad uh, I did, because I, really, I kind of want to check this out now. Uh, I got some acrylic, acrylic yellow... I'm going to try using this and see what kind of shade that is. I got a Mammoth Skull, which looks very cool. This is definitely a fun find. I, don't, I have no clue what this is from, but this will look really cool in some sort of future build. I got a very sparkly looking, uh, almost parrot looking... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I grabbed this, but I think that uh, probably <laughs> it's a little bit too goofy. The sculpt looks cool, but like I would have to completely repaint it to get rid of the weird sparkles and stuff. So, uh, one of the fine. And then finally, look at this. It's a Warjack from uh, Privateer Press. Uh, whatever the, whatever that. Whatever their version of the tabletop war game is, somebody obviously painted up this uh, plastic version of a Warjack thing. And yeah, they actually based it and everything. And this was just randomly in a bag of toys. So yeah, I, I like the looks of this. I will probably just add this to my collection of miniatures to be used uh, in a future game. So yeah, I actually found a real uh, miniature <laughs> which is a very rare uh, occasion, but it does happen. Well, that's it then. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry for the background audio. Oh my god, what a noise! The noise is ridiculous! How, how much? I'm just a simple man trying to make a video here, man. Like, does there have to be noise for like four hours at a time? God, why is there noise? Could you just not be right outside my window for like s literally four hours? Like, go someplace else. Like, there's nothing out there to f cut. You're just wasting time. You're just running up the clock. You, f I know what you're doing. You're just going over the same f patch of grass that you've already f cut. I know what you're doing. You're just getting an extra f twenty bucks for the day. You. C Go away! You're literally going over the same patch of grass. Again, and again, and again. There's like a patch of grass literally four feet by six feet in front of my place. And this keeps on going over it. Mower. How the Like, how long do you have to mow the lawn for? I got some vis a vis. Vis a vis. Vis a vis? However you pronounce it. These are the Sanford uh, water based overhead protector. <laughs> 